What's going on everybody? It's Robinson DUP and I promise you some more BPI Sports supplement reviews. They had reached out to me a couple weeks ago and sent me pre-workout, a protein, and a BCA. So I'm going to do the protein one now. Uh, this is their Whey HD Vanilla Caramel. Uh, I put the ingredient list right at the beginning of this video. Uh, they do a, a protein blend it appears. So they're using a whey protein concentrate, a milk protein concentrate, a whey protein isolate, and a milk protein isolate. Um, obviously everybody pretty much knows what whey protein concentrate is. It's, it's the most common form of whey and most ways that you're drinking that's what you're using. Uh, they have low levels of fat and cholesterol but they have the most, I think, uh, higher, like the higher levels of bioactive compounds in them. Then you go to the whey protein isolate which is another step further from the concentrate. It just breaks it down uh, more where you're taking out some of the dairy and, and some of the other fillers that are in the whey protein concentrate and it, it's a faster absorption rate. Um, with the milk protein concentrate, as far as I can see, this would be like your equivalent of like a casein. Uh, and I'm going to get to why I believe that's the case in this, in this instance. And then a milk protein isolate, which is obviously a breakdown from the milk protein concentrate. They're, they're trying to remove a lot of the dairy or the lactose out of the milk protein concentrate. So they're using four different proteins in this particular uh, product. And two interesting things, well one interesting thing especially, they have glycerol monosteric in here, which I kind of find strange. Because um, usually you find glycerol in uh, pump products, pre-workout products, things like that, vasodilators. Um, not sure why they're putting this in their protein blend. My, my guess would be maybe they're trying to open up the blood flow to better aid nutrients into your muscles. That would be my only guess. I don't know other, otherwise why they'd be doing that. And then they have their Pro-Hydrolase proprietary blend for enzyme blend, uh, I guess for better aid in digestion. Now, while using this product, I used two scoops, which if you did that, it's uh, 50 grams of, of protein because it's 25 grams per scoop. Um, so if you did two scoops, you'd be looking at 50 grams of protein, 8 grams of carbs, 6 grams of fat. So overall, the, the profile is pretty good. Um, but one thing I did notice, and this is the vanilla caramel flavor, um, it tasted like a milkshake, which I'll give it credit that the flavor was pretty good, but the consistency was much like a milkshake as well. Um, it was very, very thick. Uh, which I guess is coming from the milk, milk protein concentrate, that casein, because if you ever had a casein, usually when you go to mix it up, it's very, very thick. And with that comes a mixability problem. Um, it does tend to have chunks. It does have, you know, like at the bottom of your shake, you tend to get those little clumps down in the corners that are real pain in the ass to get rid of. And even when you're trying to drink it, a lot of times you'll feel like a clump coming into your mouth, which is oh so much fun. Um, Overall, I mean, it's a whey protein, guys. I don't think it's anything more special than anything else that's out on the market. I prefer a straight whey protein concentrate if I'm gonna order anything. Um, and if I wanted a casein, I would just order a separate tub of casein. I don't really care for casein all that much, except for maybe, you know, for those of you who may late at night and want to take something that just makes them feel more full. And my guess in that, that milk protein concentrate is why they say you can use this product as a, uh, as like a meal replacement because that milk protein concentrate is going to take a while to break down because it make you feel a lot more full. Um, and that's really about it guys. The only thing that I saw on their website that I once again didn't care for, they said within 30 minutes of working out you must take this product to maximize efficacy. I completely and utterly disagree with that because that's the whole science of the uh, nutrient timing, bro code, anabolic window. Basically if you don't get something in you in like a half hour to 45 minutes you're losing all your gains. Um, I do agree with stimulating muscle protein synthesis, but as long as you're eating throughout the day and getting your protein sources in, you're going to get that. Alright guys, I hope you appreciate this review. I've got one more left to do, and I'll talk to you soon.